Media PA. It's news on the lane. Good morning. I'm TBK. And I'm Lily B. Reporting from the remote Rosemary Angelina Broadcast Center. Today is Monday, March 15th, 2021. It is day nine of the 12th day cycle. Our Pledge of Allegiance will be led by some Indian Lane students. Please stand, face the flag in your classroom, and put your right hand over your heart to recite the pledge. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Please join us in reciting the Bobcat Pledge, led by some of your teachers. We pledge to be ready, respectful, and responsible. Offer a helping hand. Be a friend to everyone. Care about feelings. Accept differences. Tell an adult and stand up for what is right. Please be seated for some news and announcements. Today, the big story on the line is it's time to announce the books that will advance to round two of March Book Madness. Hi, Bobcats. It's Mrs. Hatton with the announcement we've all been waiting for. Let's see which books will advance to round two in this year's March Book Madness. We had 1,702 votes for all of these books. So we, we had a lot of participation, which is awesome. And now you'll have an opportunity to vote in round two. Let's see what books you will be picking from. All right, so from this pair, the book Advancing is The Cool Bean. And from our Empathy books, the book Advancing is the rabbit listened. So in round two, these two books will go head to head and you can vote for your favorite here. All right, from our adventure books, the book advancing is Una. And from our books about compassion, the book advancing is The Invisible Boy. All right, so we now have Una versus the Invisible Boy in round two. Okay, our next pair are our books about perfectionism, and the winner is Penelope Perfect. And that will go up against... Sophia Valdez, Future Prez. This was a really close race there for that one. All right, so we'll, we'll now have Penelope Perfect versus Sophia Valdez, Future Prez. All right, and our next two books are about acceptance, and the winner is... Not Quite Narwhal. And our creativity books, the winner is Square. All right, so our last pair in round two will be Not Quite Narwhal versus Square. You may have already read many of these winners. If not, it isn't too late. Check the website for the updated bracket and book pairs for round two. You will be able to vote for the round two books by this afternoon. Have fun reading. We have some birthdays to announce for this week. Take a look.
Happy birthday, everyone. Today's main lunch is pasta with homemade meat sauce, sliced bread, veggies, and fruit. The alternative lunch choice is a yummy sandwich or pp and j Remember to make healthy food choices for lunch and snacks throughout the day. A good snack choice would, could be salt teams with butter. Today is a big day for our first and second grade students. It's the first day that both A and B cohorts will attend school together. This will be a big change. So students will need to be helpful and patient today while we work together to have a successful first day all together. Don't forget that we are collecting children's eyeglasses, cases, alcohol wipes, and cleaning cloths to help children in San Salvatore. Collection bins are located in the lobby. It's time to it's time for today's You've Been Booked winners. Congratulations to our winners. If you are one of today's winners, please stop by the library on your next in-person school day to pick out your book. Virtual students will get an email from Ms. Hatton with a time to meet on their Zoom call to pick out your book. Don't worry, we will keep it safe until you can pick it up. We know that students love to win prizes, and we also know that teachers do too. Therefore, the following teachers will find a surprise in their mailbox later today. Congratulations, Miss Parkinson and Mr. Washington. Remember to be ready, respectful, and responsible each day. When your teachers notice your bobcat behavior, you might earn a bobcat rag. Yes, and when we earn enough rags again, we will have another fun reinforcer. Reading Olympics, reading Olympics will meet tomorrow at 3.45 on Miss Hatton Zoom. Meetings are every Tuesday and end at 4.30. The competition will be held on Tuesday, May 4th to, from 4 to 6 p.m. on Zoom. For all crew members and special reporters, I'm Phoebe K. And I'm Lily B. Have a marvelously magnificent Monday.